what it is, man. It's your boy Kale so frosty. I'm here with my boy. Flight school pray. And we got Oh, you already know who the vibe. MLC MLC TV, TV in the MLC motherfucking TV's building, the building man. I had to come. This is Flatbush shit, man. You know, I if this is Flatbush, I'm dead, my nigga. You That's know what that. You talking about, <laughs> man. Your mouths, man. You know, I've been following your shit for a minute, man. So we're going to start from the top, man. So tell me exactly where you come from. Give the oh, people you know, a little history about you, man. Give you a, a, a good breakdown. Like, you know, um, I start coming outside, hanging out, getting arrested, doing street shit around 12 years old. You know what I'm saying? And the areas, I'm more of a front street guy. So what you was doing so, before you started doing the interviews and stuff? Shit, man. You know, all right, I'm going to get into it. Like, 2014, I had a brain aneurysm. That's something where, like, um, the vein in your brain pops. Like, and most people that had it died. Like, say, like, 80% of people get it died. You know what I'm saying? I had the aneurysm and shit, and I survived it. And after that, I decided kind of to stop street shit. Yeah, yeah, Basically, yeah. you know what I mean? Right, so well, like I ain't no sucker, now I'm fighting yeah. and I'm going to defend myself as a man if I got a boom, I got a whatever. But I'm a, um, I slow down and just stop everything and, and try to say, like, yo, what's your calling in life? Because, yo, you survived this shit. Mind you, I've been shot, stabbed, all that. We're talking about 1990s. Mm, all that yeah. shit. We're talking about early, ni- early 90s when it was. When, you understand what I'm saying? When the murder rate was 2,000 people a year. Them years there, you know what I'm saying? So, I've been through so much, but something so simple as me having a headache one day, like, oh, I felt like I was going to die. Shit made me just stop, change my life, bro. I'm like, yo, I got to do something with my life to be remembered. Because, you know, hustlers don't get remembered like that, bro. Especially us from certain areas, you know, they glorify, like, other hoods more than they glorify, speak on the Flatbush hustle. Yeah, yeah, Niggas yeah. ain't going to get remembered, bro. So, I was like, yo, bro, I got to change my life. I got to do something. Seen the little, um, the youngins, um, from the block now, from, um, you know, from areas like, uh, Fenimore Street, Sterling Street. Oh, oh man, yo, shout out Sterling Street. I forgot, Sterling is, is where it started at, too, bro. My fault, y'all, dead ass. Sterling Street, Sterling and Nostra, man. Feel me, Leffert's Park, man, shit like that, man. Where, um, yeah, so, you know, um, I seen the little niggas like on Sterling, on Fenimore, on Hawthorne, all these blocks. Because mind you, I was out of town for me to come back. It's mad new little kids outside and they all, you know, yeah, they all, they, this one's that one, that block. So I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, where the fuck all this shit come from, you feel me? But I'm peeping them. The little bitches fucking with these niggas. I'm like, oh, these niggas, I seen like something in them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was my boy, um. Shout out my um, shout out my bro Maury, Young Scholar. That's his rap name and shit like that. He, you know, he don't really he rap still, but you know he he taking it easy. You know he had little legal troubles and shit like that. Seeing this little nigga rapping, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh shit! I seen the nigga styling on. He reminded me of me when I was his age. I'm like, oh now nah, this is a star. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't rap, I don't produce. I could manage. I'm like yo, what should I do? I'm like, I'm hitting up all the. The niggas that do this shit before I did, and no yeah. one was answering, no one was paying attention to my side of Flatbush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? I'm like, oh, now nah, I gotta document this. This might be the calling of why I'm still alive from yeah. all the shit I went through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I picked up the camera. If you look, go down, my very first interview is the Young Scholar. Yeah, yeah. Interviewed him and all the other, um, you know, you got my son Kesey. They had a song called The Youngest Niggas in Charge. That was very big for the youth and all that. All the youth, so you this, that all the youth used the lingo. Yeah. The youngest in charge from them. So you was yeah. editing your stuff from day one, then. Oh yeah, bro. This is so all me. From the learning process, you had to, to take right. the steps. Right. right. You understand? I had to. I had to learn certain things. Like everybody, you could just type yeah. in anything on YouTube now, and you could, and you could learn it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything. Even if you want to learn how to grow fucking bud, nigga, they got it on YouTube. So. I started watching a couple YouTube videos, figure out what programs I want to use, blah, blah, blah. I don't even think I had a Mac yet, so I had to use Premiere Pro, learn how to use that shit. <clears throat> Eventually got a Mac and um, Final Cut, like everybody yeah. else, and shit like that. Yeah, man, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. you. you like one of the main reasons like uh, for a lot of um, the new rappers' success out here today. Man. Mm-hmm. If you did, Not only that you put the light on flat, but you also put the light on other hoods, too, mm-hmm. which basically got... Um, Got a lot of got a lot of um got a lot of artists and like like eyes on them that they never had before. Yeah. And I would say because like you said, I see it was it probably was hard. Nobody was really doing what you did. You know right. what I'm saying? So 
So when you bought and that the hold on, not to cut you off, um, Frost. Yeah. And the ones that did was only penetrating one side of. Yeah, yeah, that's Brooklyn. what I was gonna say. Like, okay, okay, that's, what, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, okay, okay, that's what I was getting to. Like, when 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 I said, when you look at your joint, at first it seemed like you probably gonna stay in one side, but then you started touching every area, <coughs> mm -hmm. and then once you started touching every area, you should, you should just that's what that's what got your joint on another level. While meanwhile, other niggas are just sticking to one mm -hmm. situation or you know what I'm saying shit mm -hmm. like that. You know what I'm saying so. Like, I mean, you gotta, you, you, you need to have, like, niggas need to give you something, my nigga, yeah, like, yeah, it's because, yeah. yo, I think, I think, it's, it's, to I think me, it's him not being biased and just is yeah. willing to work with everybody, you Because if we gonna talk the truth, it's like, to me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me start like this, like, all this is like two twos, uh, probably like the Blickies, mm -hmm. uh, even the, um, Kudas, the, the Kuda Bees, the Woos, like, you, you basically bought that to the, to the front line and everything, you know what I'm saying? I agree. Because prior to that, everybody was just in the background. Nobody was really making moves. Mm -hmm. It's like it was the 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 air was like everybody was just waiting for Bobby Bobby and them to come yeah, home. When yeah. you when you bought your um platform out, it gave a lot of other niggas chances nah, of to get to their joints. Because even um God bless the dead Zach TV came out here. Man, rest in peace, God. You know what I'm saying I knew he was fucking with him too. Mm -hmm. But if you notice, he came out here because. Of what you was doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because of course. what you had, do, what you was doing was picking up so much on his side. He was like, "Yo, let me get down to Brooklyn and see what's going right, on." Right, you already know. Because you know what I'm saying, you basically he, like me and him linked. Yeah, That's yeah, how we linked because that, we yeah. was on the same frequency. Oh, Peter. Yeah. yeah, of course, yeah, right, big RP. Exactly. Yo, how you feel about that situation? That, that, that shit is crazy because, you know, I can't really talk too much on it because you know, just really can't. But it ain't no conspiracy or none of that. Like how some. Niggas killed the nigga. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, At the yeah. end of the day, stupid, stupid, dumb black people that don't appreciate Somebody what he's bringing to the table. Mm -hmm. See, and I hate to call my own people of my human skin stupid. Niggas is dumb, bro. Yeah, exactly. I'm keeping it a thousand. I came here to keep it. You know, you. I, I keep it genuine. I'm a yeah, genuine yeah. person. Right. Niggas is dumb, bro. They. That's some shit you don't supposed to do. It was no conspiracy or nothing. It's just dumb niggas. Killed the nigga for some dumb yeah, cause shit. Try to it ain't have nothing to do with filming either, like they, how people be they saying. They try to make it look he, like the internet try to make it look like he got something to do with Kanika Jenkins. Nah, it ain't have nothing to do with film. That, it ain't have nothing to do with him filming gangs or Kanika Jenkins. It was some other personal shit, yeah. and that's as much as I could get in depth yeah. about it, bro. You know what I'm saying? But you know how life is. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? that's crazy. Shit happens, man. But unfortunately, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. But R. Yeah, so yeah, that with that being said, like I know um what you doing your joint sometimes I know there was like times when niggas would come on your shit and be like, Yo, you biased, man. Like how you feel about that? Well, the crazy shit is someone could call me biased when I show love to everybody, bro. Like this is real nigga shit. I ain't even gonna say what I used to bang on camera, but it wasn't what everybody think I bang. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. It's crazy, you know what I'm saying, that a lot of the shit that I used to bang, I get a lot of hate from those people, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it's not the rappers and the niggas that's getting money and doing their thing, it's the broke sideline niggas. Yeah. They got a little personal issue because it comes down to kind of like, a lot of niggas be jealous. Yeah. They're like, who the fuck is this? How does nigga just, yo, yeah, nigga, I'm a grown man. Like, I'm not scared. Yeah. I'm not scared of any human being. Go I gotta put that out there. Like, that's one thing about you. You go to yeah, anybody. Or like, I'm not afraid of anybody, bro, because yeah. I was going to these places when it was bad. Yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. realize it. They think that they the toughest. Of... No, 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 no. It was 10 times worse when I was coming up in yeah. these same places. And I know people. I got family all over, but... I'm not the type of nigga that be like, yo, what's the name of my cousin? Or uh, I don't do that. I got family in all these hoods, nigga. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And like, you know, my 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 co on my background, I'm half West Indian, half American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the most Americanist hoods, I have family in it. The most yardest hoods, yeah, family there. The people don't understand that. Like, I can touch everywhere. You understand? Yeah, yeah. From Queens to the Bronx, family, blood. I'm talking about first cousins. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> we got the same. Our, our mamas and sisters. You understand what I'm saying? Shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, to that bias point, you basically saying you really just showing whatever's around you. You're not yeah, really being bro. Biased, let me like... let me explain something to you like this. If I was biased, and I already said where I'm from, from Notion Avenue sides, you know that's why I started that. Of course, I end up moving and going places. You know, because I'm that type of nigga. I just don't really stay around and all that. Yeah, once yeah. I once I got a certain age, I start you know mingling and moving around different places. If I was biased. 
I wouldn't have interviewed anybody that don't fuck with people from those sides. Yeah, from your side. After I interviewed, my first interviews was um the Billies. Then it was Nas Blicky. Shout out to um shout out to Mac Billy. Shout out to um PC. Shout out all y'all. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Scotty. Fucking um it was them. Then it was um Nas Blicky. Then right after that, I shot um niggas that they don't fuck with. From East New York, like uh, Ace Number Five and um, Rob Mack. Okay, okay. Then after that, I shot Cool to B. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Because everybody needs their story told. It's 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 only right, nigga. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one thing, shout out Cool to B. You know what I'm saying? Shout out um, his man Ant. Them niggas, they understood that shit. And your interviews is not like you um when you do an interview. Now, hold on, like, not to cut you off. Yeah. I'm gonna let everybody know. Everybody talking about the questions I asked. 90% of the interviews I go to, the people tell me what to ask. They be like, yo, cuz, ask this. Da, 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 da. Yo, I was so, gonna get to I'm that. gonna you ask that, that because that's what that's they told what, me to do. That's what the people yeah. want um, a lot of people that don't got clout, they paid. So how I'm not gonna ask them what they paid me to ask them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they paid, paid me. Right. Uh, I ain't gonna say the prices. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> they paid me to... To ask them something, so what the fuck I supposed to do? I supposed yeah. to say, well, you know, technically I can't ask. I'm older. And go, no fuck out of here, nigga. Yeah, yeah, Niggas be like, thinking, man, business, stupid, man. bro. But this is yeah. the, this is you interviewing somebody. So yeah, just like how they try the to blame that, Vlad TV for um for AR ad. You being can't alive. do that because AR ad went up there and spoke freely about it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Vlad's job as a vlogger or interviewer to is to report and try to get the best shit. The best content for his shit to shoot. Yeah, 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 fact. You got um the OG because yeah, yeah. you knew the OG was talking that shit when you seen it um on the Queens nigga. She like, yo, you gotta come on the Flatbush. You a Flatbush nigga. Yeah, you got some more Flatbush nigga shit. Yeah. You knew that shit done because he talking that shit. Yes, yes. And that's how it go, bro. Yeah, yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Niggas be yeah. acting like it be them sideline niggas. Yeah, yeah. These niggas be mad. Let me hold on. These niggas be broke, bro. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? You see when I first met you, you was dropping a Hummer, bro. Spread nigga shit. <laughs> see when I see you just now? These niggas be broke. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm looking at you, yeah, I mean broke. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. of course they're gonna have animosity when they see a nigga. I mean, bands are fun off the... It's animosity, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. jealousy. They, if I was white, or maybe even Latino, yeah. they wouldn't even feel that way. These niggas keeping it real, bro. <laughs> I'm not knocking you, I'm, 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 I'm asking you. You understand what I'm talking about? I, I know exactly where you're coming from. Come on, man. That roughed you up. Why yeah. that cop? Why you ain't going that cop mouth? Because I know back in my time, niggas going to cop's mouth, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the pen, out the pen. Like, oh, work, off, yeah, yeah, dip yeah, off, yeah. get caught, fuck it. You understand? But you still was a man, and you stood up like a man towards everyone. Yeah, you yeah. wasn't just a man in pick and choosing. Yeah, yeah. Pick, pick there and was no such thing as pick and choosing in my about. era. My era, yeah, yeah, there was no yeah. pick and choosing. We we go we go head on with the realest or Nick, the fakest. Whoever yeah. front we going head on with. You understand nah, what I'm saying? Fact, 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 I, I get where you're coming from. So, uh, like I said, niggas, I guess probably because niggas from the pick and the era choosing, mm -hmm. they couldn't think of... Uh, <laughs> They're coming from the picking and choosing era. <laughs> so they figure that you're picking and choosing too, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But as you can see the other day, I seen Pop Smoke shouted you out. That's what I'm saying. Yo, shout out Pop Smoke. My fault, I should have been shouted you out, man. Yeah. Shout out to the low. Shout out Pop, Pop Smoke, man. Let me tell you something, and man. You went right to Avenue Well and did that interview. I went like, to his, I went before, they, the, they before the, the Welcome to the Party Before track. any song he had, mm -hmm. I knew that that nigga was going to do something. My little cousin Day hit me up like, yo. Bro, we got up next, cause I'm like, I'm like, man, everybody say that, whatever, da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. I was like, ah, right, you know what? I hear it in his. That's what made me know. I know what's hot, cause I, I actually remember when I was young, and I know when a kid is on to something, cause I remember when I knew what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I seen how they acting. I'm like, nah, man, this nigga really. Then I call a couple of other niggas, couple of other dogs that can also. They say, yeah, 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 boy. I, I, I'm like, word. I'm like, all right, I'm going. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I went over there, and the rest is history. Yeah, He's the biggest cool. artist besides little TJ that I interviewed, yeah, basically. Nah, you understand cool. what I'm saying? And your interview helped catapult him. To and he and, and why I give Pop some props? He, he said it. Out. Yeah. He said it this last. Because there's a few other people that yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, I feel like I don't know. Like I don't know if they feel like that. But I feel like you catapulted their career too. Like of I feel like two two G's, you helped them out. No, of course. Yo, shout out, yo, yo, real shit. Shout out twenty two G's because um, and this is some real shit that I'm about to say. If I never interviewed him, my platform would have never got as big as it did. Okay. I interviewed him, my platform blew up bigger because a lot of people don't like him. Okay. okay. So they wanted to speak to me 
to so they could say their part because okay. 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 he got a chance to say his part. Okay. Okay. You understand? He helped yeah, make yeah. it. So shout out 22, bro. Bring, bring, bring the, Blickety oh. Blicky. Shout yeah, out to yeah. bro, man. Yeah, facts. In fact, in fact I mean, they, they put out good music too. He did his mm-hmm. thing with um, um, Kodak Black. Oh, right? yeah. They yeah, had yeah. the... Um, yeah, they they the shot the shit at the Mount. Right? Like, yeah, I, I, I used to go to that laundry mat my whole life. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Haitian niggas. Yeah, okay. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Maxi. Maxi. You feel me? Yeah, Real yeah, niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Words. You had um, interviewed my cousin, Mitch. Mm-hmm. Flatbush Mitch? Yeah, facts. Uh, my little cousin and shit. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mentioned them related to my son, Bino. Yeah, and they fuck with... um. Bino come home soon. Yeah, and they fuck with... You know Bino? Nah, I don't know Bino. Okay, Bino young. That's my little cousin and shit. That's like my mom's... But like my mom's brother, daughter, son. Right, right, right. Shit right. like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Yeah, man. Right. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, I see you working. You just started the podcast now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, right, tell, me what, tell me what's going man. on with that. You with, with I decided um, to start a podcast and all that because... Shout out my little brother, Chris. This nigga always bothering me, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, man, you need to do a podcast like Joe Button and all them niggas. I'm like, man, fuck that. I don't really show my face and all that. I'm used to being behind the camera. But I kind of got tired of not getting my proper recognition. Yeah, so now I got to get on the camera and talk my shit because yeah, fact, fact. I helped I helped a lot of artists blow. You feel me? Period. I helped a lot. And this is, this is facts. I'm not trying to talk crazy like I'm the nigga. My nigga, this is yeah, real. That's- my nigga, this is yeah. That's why if, when I see, I see you. Um, sometimes you might say shit like niggas be complaining about it, but what they don't understand is with a platform as big as yours, you cannot be doing that for free because what you're doing is basically branding. Yeah, like this is something that labels will have to do if they want to build an artist. I'm in tune with a few labels. So I'm saying, so if you're an artist out there, your joint's not up there like that. You want to take it to the next level, and you decide to fuck with Mel. Of course, you're gonna have to have a budget for that. Right, you know I need my budget. And, they need to, they need and to also, that. if you pay me like a like a little bit more. I'll even give you the formula of how to take off, especially if you're around 18 to 21 years old. I got the formula for you. And it'll work. You just got to listen, and you got to give me a couple dollars. Got <laughs> to work it out. The formula works, my dogs. You heard? <laughs> the formula uh, works. Fact, fact. So, yeah, back to the um, um mm-hmm. podcast that you got going on with Sad Dog. Tell me what's going on with that. All right. We, um, like I said, you know, I wanted people to know, um, you know, start to get to know me. Start to get to know my personality, my face, and all that type of shit. Because I feel like, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm underground. So when you underground, you a lot of times you get underrated, underrecognized, shit like that. So I had to let the people know what time it was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, Saad is the total opposite of me. Saad is on some shit for the older crowd, or the, let's say what they call the lyrical yeah, yeah. fan base. But you know, I'm more for everything, but. I really focus on the youth yeah, yeah. because I know this. One thing, let me tell you this. One thing about this. I always go back and listen to old shit. Yeah. I mean, I be listening to shit from back in the days because that's what the time when I grew up and all that shit. They're going to do the same thing. Like, I'll be like, yo, Smack DVD was a shit. Or I could even go back to my nigga Ralph McDaniels. I'll be like, Ralph McDaniels was a shit. Mm-hmm. When they grow up my age, they're going to say, guess what? I remember that Mel CD shit. Yeah, facto, facto. I remember, oh shit, that Mel CD. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I knew yeah. to have a different approach because I knew coming in with the older niggas, the older crowd gonna die off and they stale, bro. This yeah, sounds crazy. Yeah, yeah, we old, yeah. God. Yeah. Nah, you, facto, we facto. just call me the gods of the city now. Yeah, yeah, we the facto. gods now. The old niggas. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And by what I'm doing, I'm going to get recognized as a god of the city when they get older. No, you're already a god of the city right now. I am. I know that. Uh, because you bred like the other day I watched Pop with his dawn and them and Pop and Pop smoking the video. They're like, yeah, man, the city of gods, we the gods of the city. And I'm looking at them, I'm like, that's facts, because them niggas are the young gods of the city. But mm-hmm. half of them are like, when you're the person that's helping push everybody to mm-hmm. where they need to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know exactly. So how how has it been working out with like the artists that make it? Like, do they come back? I mean, other than Pop Smoke that showed the love. Damn. Saying, do the artists come back and be like, yo, Mel's, Yo, man, I'm, you my y'all, dude. y'all bought a big bottle of Henny, y'all got me drinking, so you know I'm going to tell the truth, man. Y'all niggas know I'm going to tell the guy. I mean, you know we have to go there, Yo, man. you know, <laughs> no, you know, <laughs> no, niggas don't fuck with me after they blow. Damn, so This is crazy. I'm keeping it a thousand. Niggas don't fuck. And I'm sure. Even niggas, niggas from right. Flatbush don't fuck with me after they blow. I'm keeping it. But I will say this. I see niggas all the time. We have conversation. We have fun. We even drink and smoke. I bump with the Chef G all the time. Bump with yeah, the yeah. Tutu all the time. Yeah, yeah, we all yeah. flat push niggas. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And we have, you know, we just live regular life. They, um, Chef and them may be chilling. 
too, too many. I, 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 think I, people, I think people look to your platform for the information too, because like right when that Molly G situation happened, mm -hmm. and people wanted to know the information. Shout out, um, shout out, um, Kanasi. Yeah. Shout out, um. Shout out Scrap 1090, shout out Scooby yeah, Dust, OP. Yeah, of course, free that man. Um, shout, out, shout out all of them, because this is one thing too. Um, Scooby. Oh, hold on, this is one thing too. Um, I have real family in Canarsie. Okay. You understand? Maybe the little kids don't know that, but I know a lot of wolves, like the big wolves, yeah, like yeah, from yeah. Canarsie wolf shit. Yeah, yeah. You understand? I know, you know what I mean? Good people, you know what I mean? A lot of the youngins may not know that because, once again, I don't go around... Just like I know a lot of the older G's. Yeah, yeah. I know the G's from Prospect Heights in the 1990s when the shit first started. Yeah, okay. They know me personally. I know them. I know the older lows. Yeah, 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 you yeah. understand what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because we from, I mean, you know, I'm from that era. Yeah. But a lot of people don't know that. They may think like, yo, you know, this guy's a cameraman or whatever. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. And I ain't boasting about it. You know, I'm, I'm a school dropout. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm a nigga that was getting money that didn't need school. You know what I'm saying? People go to school to get money. I was getting money. I ain't need school. You understand what I'm saying? It was taking yeah. up my time from getting, getting money. money. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, you know, I, I, I did this as a school dropout, as a person where people may look at as uh, um, a criminal or, you know, we always get called all type of names, our cultures and all that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I actually decided... And did something positive when I'm making legit money every month, every week, every day mm -hmm. from doing what I like to do, bro. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So like all, all that shit with niggas hating and all that shit, niggas can suck my dick. Mm -hmm. And this is real nigga shit because yeah, if somebody next to y'all that I help push mm -hmm. feel fiercely, yeah, yeah. fearlessly to, to, you know what I mean, to the top, so, you know what I mean, yeah. whoever hating suck my dick, man. Talk about the hating shit, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you want to go there or not, but you know I'm, you got the little situation. We, gonna, we could go, listen, you know what I'm we could go just, anywhere. I'm, I'm just making sure. I'm letting, I'm letting, we could go anywhere today, bro. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying, I know you had the little situation where you had got into the little I'm, situation. I, 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 I can't really talk and about, and about that too much, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Okay. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You see how like I'm drinking now? Mm -hmm. This is what I do, bro. Yeah. I'm niggas drunken uncle. I'm the drunken uncle. I'm the drunk. Okay, you know so what I mean? I'm the one with too. the I'm the one with the wisdom though. Just I mean, most of the drunk. times when niggas are slipping, it's usually that's what happened. Drink. I slipped, yeah, I yeah. fell. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's life. You know, I slip and fell, bump my head. Okay. It was like a kiss on the cheek though. All right, you understand right, what I'm right. saying? <laughs> she yeah, was like, yeah. no, but did you talk about like nothing? The reason why was the reason was like there was no reason why. There was no reason. I don't even. I don't. I don't even know why. I don't even know why. I was drunk. It was, I was never drunk. nothing, like, they just, it just happened? Yeah, I was drunk, and shit just happened, and boom. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? See, but I at mean, the end of the day, you know, I shouldn't even say this, but you see how I had my little weapon on me, my umbrella swinging? Yeah. If I had anything else on me, I'm using it. Yeah, it's yeah, straight yeah. up, just, see how, just take that for example, kitties. You see how I had that on me? If I got my knife on me, it's swinging. Whatever swinging, just let y'all know that, man. Yeah, I, ain't, fact, I, I, fact, I defend fact. myself. I'm a I grown mean, man. I mean, dumb shit I won't like that. ever run from any. I don't give a fuck if it's ten niggas. I am not running. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, what I'm saying? You just gonna have to kill me. I'm not giving up. I can have the biggest. Shit. I'm not giving it up. You gonna have to boom me. I'm one of them types. You understand? what I'm saying? I, I don't give a fuck about none of that, that shit, boy. Yeah, I'm like you gonna have to kill me. You have to beat the shit out of me to where I can't move. Then you can yeah, take yeah. my shit. Nah, I feel but you. if I could move, I'm. Going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and it's just like that. So with the podcast, nah, really shit, you and, and Sarcast is doing, what, what, play, what, what level are y'all taking it to? Like? We're we going to take it to another level because for the simple fact, you know, a lot of people that around him, I don't want to use the word don't like, but they don't fuck with my brand or... They have to fuck with because I'm they in tune with me As to not even like it. Because they feel like you push the drill scene. Yeah, and that's a problem where they don't realize is that they kind of. They, I don't want to even use the word played out, but kind of how they think and what type of time it's they kinda, on. Not is, that's like it's a kind of outdated, right? A bit. No, it's not. It's like right. Yeah. I have this argument with him all the time. Exactly. <laughs> but, 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 like you were saying this shit. Like we have this argument all the time and shit. So you got the young drill rappers and you got the lyrical niggas and shit. Yeah. So I think that's where you and Son make a perfect match and shit. That's why I chose him to be my... I, exactly. chose, I, I hit him and up. And then you could go back him. into that era mm -hmm. of lyricism. Because you're from that era. I'm going to say some shit. Yeah, 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 I'm going to cut you off. Um, yeah, nigga, I'm from the... Uh, it'd be crazy it's when little me. niggas be saying like, yo, you know, I'm a lyricist. Nigga, you can't tell me about lyrics, nigga. You wasn't born when Lyricist was out, nigga. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. You yeah, wasn't born when Nas' right. first album came oh, out. The exactly. fuck you telling me about some fucking lyrics? Wasn't you wasn't born Wu Tang fucking. <laughs> the fuck are you telling me? You yeah, understand what I'm saying? This shit be it be annoying me, but a lot of times 
I just, I just, it can't be like, yo, these niggas is dumb. Let me not even pay no mind. You see niggas be trying to tell me about shit, tell me about shit that the way I, I live. The way I look at it, I love 90s. 90s is a golden era of hip hop. Everybody know that, right? Mm-hmm. But to me, the 2000s is like, it opened real. Up to that's me. my, that's what I love. Right. Just let me, you you like 36, okay. you said. I'm 36. So you, so. you was more 50 cent era. Exactly. That was more nah, of your era. Nah, you nah. Know what I mean? You know, I, 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 I started off with um the what? symphony. Five years, I was, I was a symphony. I'm dead. I'm gangsta yeah. in these all guys. Right, all right, you talking about that when you was a little yeah, younger. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, gangsta in these look, guys. Look, but, but what, what I'm like saying is 2000s to me, your the teenage. music of two, 2000s uh-huh. is what shaped today right. more than the 90s. Right. Because the rappers in 2000s was preaching, be a businessman. Mm. The rappers in the 90s were telling you to keep it real and throw away your life. I don't know about that. Bro. Yeah, I'm man. having to disagree I mean, with that. Yeah, keep it real. Nah. 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 What, 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 wait, hold on, hold on. What, 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 yo, what part of the 90s are you talking about, though? The whole 90s is about keeping it nah. real. Nah, you're lying. Come on, the streets are the music. Because, uh, uh, you know, I don't mean you lying like that, bro. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if we go call it step out, bro. Like, niggas like <laughs> Wu-Tang and Nas and all. Niggas was God bodies dropping the science. Yeah, they were dropping the science. What are you talking about? after a while, nobody wanted to hear the science. Because Biggie and Buck Niggas wanted to hear how the motherfucking be. Famous. Because yeah. Biggie, be rich, rich, no, because, no, money. No, because Biggie and Puffy remember when, changed the remember game. Remember when, when the um the Wu-Tang double album came out? I remember that album came out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Then I remember I was in high school. All the Crips ain't wanna hear that. They wanted to hear Mace to double up. Cool. All the world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, what is South Shore, Rotunda, nigga. Niggas was motherfucking with Mace. Niggas was fucking with Mace like that. Like The regular niggas were fucking with Mace. The hustle niggas was with Jack and Mace like that. We listened to the locks and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Same yeah, same, right. same, class, bro. Not so At the like right. time, they was the same class. Right. This is before Mace went to the preacher. So he was the same class as um, the locks and them niggas. Mm-hmm. He was rapped 24 hours to the level of Nah, but this is what I'm going to say, right? Boom, cause you see, I got Mel's here, and you know, I got the sentiments. I I like the I like this generation of music right here. Yeah. To me, this is one of the best generations of music, cause they actually make music. See, the '90s kept it real. You're right, but they make good music, but they didn't make music that would make you a millionaire the way they make today. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I feel like in the '90s, real music just s- sunk into certain places you never expected. Mm. It was in the suburbs. Taking over, but today my it's like it's like um this niggas was rapping about selling drugs, then niggas started rapping about in the two thousands niggas started p- rapping about enjoying the fact that they selling drugs. Now we in the clubs popping bottles, yo, popping yeah. bottles, yo. Mm-hmm. Everywhere you go is popping bottles. Mm-hmm. Everybody want to pop bottles now. Then the king, these little dudes, they kind of brought it back to the streets with a sense of p- having fun at the same time. So they giving you a piece of the 90s mixed with the uh, new style at the same time. Because now you can listen to a song that's about popping bottles, keeping that's, it real, that's, that's certain, and getting that's, money. That's certain young boys. Uh, who? That's certain young I mean, boys. I mean, a lot of like them the talk chefs, about... Who? The chefs, right? Yeah. Sleepy Hollows, you got... Shout out Chef G and Sleepy, yeah, man. Fact, that's, fact, a, fact. that's a new mob deep, you heard? Nah, they're, 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 you can say that too. Jaden Styles. That's a long deep. You feel me? Jaden Styles. I want to give him a little more, with more successful duo. So, um, Jaden Styles with Melody. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm I, I mean, want him to have a more successful duo. Yo, rest in peace, Prodigy, man. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Shout that's my guy. Shout out Long Island. Nah, I'm not saying that. I want to give it to somebody like, hey, Jay Z and Nas or something. All right, all right, all right. Listen. Because I like they, because they from Flatbush. So, you know, I'm going to go hard for the I said, Jaden yeah. Styles, yeah, and he boy. said Mob Deep. Mm. I would run with Mob Deep more than Jaden and Styles. Mm-hmm. You understand me? Because Mob Deep is successful. Okay. They are platinum artist group. Okay, they you're legendary. Right. You're they right. cemented. Right. Prodigy ain't here no more. Mm. So it's like they stamp. Jaden yeah. and Styles, you know what I mean? We could say that what you just said about them. Yeah. Mob Deep, you can't really say that. They, they cemented. Yeah, I mean, I don't so try those to take guys, the wrong way. I they need to reach to where Mob Deep is at. You understand me? Like they still got work to do to reach to where Mob is at and shit. You understand me? I think. Well, they could this, surpass Jaden Styles. This, this is the thing in this era, we can't really watch. All right, all right, boom. We can't expect them to sell as much in this era. No, we can't. This is not a selling era. Yeah, yeah. A billion streams equals one million records sold. A billion. That means somebody had to see this shit a billion times to go platinum. 
It's not it's, as easy. It's, it's very hard. It's very hard. It's very hard. Bring that back for me again. I kind of missed a that. A billion streams uh-huh. equals a million records sold. Okay. You, brought, you was breaking down the Dave East numbers the other day. Yeah, with the because I was trying to say because you know. And a little cu- a couple of little homies took it wrong. Like I was talking about them. I was talking about like other older people, older than them, mm-hmm. that was saying like, "Yo, I got twenty something thousand streams or whatever," thinking that streams mean sales. Streams don't got shit to do yeah, with sales. sales. It takes six hundred to one thousand streams to equal one, one sale. sale. Mm, that's a you understand fact. what I'm saying? And this is a lot of. All I was trying to do was yeah, share information game. with yeah, the people. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, trying. Yeah, I be trying to share information with. Shit. I be trying to share information with people. And they may take it wrong. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just trying to share information, bro. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, because at the end of the day, I'm not only into like, hip hop. I'm not only into street shit. I, I got a lot of information. Yeah, you put this from shit in perspective years. for a lot of people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I right. see you at the labels, man. So what you doing over there, man? We be curious, man. She's just curious. Only reason why I took that picture is because the A and R he wanted to take a picture with me. If he didn't want to take a picture, I would take, I, you know, I, I got a few meetings I went to. I even got a few meetings I went to with, like, um video companies, movie shit, Viacom type shit, all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I, don't really, know I can't talk, I can't talk too much about that because at the end of the day, it's all about energy. You know, I believe in energy. And if when I put that type of shit out there, all I'm going to get is... More hate, and I'll probably get people calling up what label I'm down with and what um video company I'm down with to hate. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. bad niggas hate me. Niggas try to block it. Yeah, so I'm not even there. bringing that shit up, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good with I'm not getting that. What's, what's the hate about? Like, what the it, fuck it, going on? Niggas just hate, bro. A nigga texted me one day and just said, I don't like you. This is a nigga that I done been, I ain't been around him, but I done interviewed his yeah. friends. And nigga texted me one day, I don't really fuck with you. I don't know how you interviewing niggas. Uh, I'm like, I bet. His his ops. Ops. So, so I was just like, I bet. I even gonna debate with the kid because the kid is dumb saying that. He don't even yeah, understand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of niggas don't understand. This is bigger than the streets. Yeah, yeah it's way like, bigger than the streets. Because street. I fucked with you today, we did a camera thing. You might be my dog, but I, as a businessman, I still right. gotta get to the other house. Right, thing. right. And you said, you know and if you real and really getting money, you supposed to understand that and be like, yo, this nigga's really lit. Yeah. He, yeah. Well, understand that, bro. And, and yeah, one thing a about me, man. yeah, it's about getting his. Man. I'm gonna get you mine regardless. It's like picture a smack. This is what I'm trying to tell. It's like picture a smack saying because he fucked with, let's say, um, Loaded Lux, he's not gonna interview the uh, the person that Loaded Lux is, is hey, going against. Perfect example, no my nigga. You get perfect what I'm saying? Example. Because then, yeah. then what the f- we, we not waiting. We don't want to know about none of y'all now. If I would <laughs> just, if I would be biased, my nigga, my brand would have never been as big as it is. Yeah, man. Point blank, period. And not for nothing, the people that got interviewed, whether it be their ops or them, they wouldn't be as big as they are today. You know Scientific fact. Like, they have to understand that most of the times, once you get there, and then whatever, they feel like the ops is talking, they go back and forth, then they drop their videos. All this is coming into the market. Plan. The shit that niggas you know jacking, I've been jacking. Uh-huh. You heard? Like, it shit ain't nothing, nigga. <laughs> you, you lost us with that. Yo, you gonna leave us in the dust. That's it. Yo, That's talk it. what was that? <laughs> you know what that mean? <laughs> Yo, the shit, niggas been jacking. I've been jacking, man, before niggas was even born, nigga. <laughs> if, you, if you under 25 years old, nigga, you can't say shit to me like you supposed to already know. Like, even if you over 25, if you under 35, you can't really even talk to me. Like, yeah. and when, before I was into this shit, Real shit. I wouldn't even talk to most of these niggas that I interview. Yeah, yeah. They ain't. They ain't really ain't even on my level to yeah. speak to a lot yeah, of niggas. Yeah. And this ain't no disrespect. Shit. Yeah. Some are. It's fifty fifty type shit. Yeah, some yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. is like niggas is gonna be the next real niggas outside yeah, or yeah. next OGs. But a lot of these niggas I wouldn't even talk to, bro. Yeah, yeah, fact and this is real shit because of, uh, of my past and my background, we ain't fuck with everybody like that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm into um. I'm into media now, so I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta change. You See, know they have to understand that as well, that because you're in the media. <laughs> my pleasure, um, what, what my nigga said, my presence is a, um, a my gift. presence is a blessing. Yeah, it's a gift. Just to kick it, it's a blessing. Yeah. Something, my, my yeah. word, some shit like that. It's a gift. And though, this is man. real you shit. Because I'm, I'm, I, cause I could give you jewels and all that. You know what I'm That's saying? That, that most niggas ain't gonna give niggas, man. Alright, man. So, so what else we should be expecting from Mel's, man? Yo, I don't even, wasn't even gonna say it, but I'm gonna let. Ross, no, and all that, man. You know, Mel's TV, next up, we're going to take it to a whole nother level. We'll be doing Mel's TV news. You feel me? That's like how MTV News used to do when somebody died and all that shit. Kind of like how bloggers do, but they just be showing. But I'm going to really do it kind of on a professional level, like MTV type shit. You know what I'm saying? That's my next shit that I really shouldn't say. 
Cause niggas gonna Nick somebody gonna try to steal my shit, mm-hmm. but it still ain't gonna resonate the same as when I do. That shit that you be saying, but let me tell you, sir. Um, yeah, what? Well, where that Henny at, y'all? Right here. Um, I wanted to ask you um a question. Yo, the top twenty five, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> top twenty five. <laughs> The top 25. That's the most, that's the most spicy question in, you asked me. In, 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 in um, Brooklyn, man. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You had shook up, you had shook the, um, you had shook up the city a few years Anything ago. Anything I post, shake shit. up the city. That's yeah. a fact. And, and, and my boy follow me. You, you friends on Facebook too? <laughs> nah, not, but we, come on. I, I, all right, I, all right, I, bet, I, bet, bet. You don't got he, 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 to no he, yeah, Right, right, right. He's doing everything. He know, he see something to post, I'll post. I get a Brooklyn academics not to... No, 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 of course, of course, of course. Nah, At the end of the day, like, you know what Go I mean? Go to you for the news and the shit. The top 25 be real shit. Everybody's going to get mad. We got hundreds, it's new, it's Brooklyn. It's like, let's say 12,000 rappers and mm-hmm. shit. Nigga, everybody can't make it. And my list is based off the youth. I have to serve a demographic that supports me. Mm-hmm. I can't just be trying to, oh, I, you know, you know, he cool, I, I think he got balls. No, I don't work like that, man. My core fan base is... Young niggas, 23, 24, and under. Let's say 15, 16 to 23 or 15. Nigga, I got to serve them to what they like. I can't serve to what, yo, man, you don't know bars. Nigga, I know more bars than all y'all niggas. I can't worry about all that shit. I got to worry about what's hot now because this is what a lot of, we, can't get, going stuck, on right we now. can't get stuck in errors. That's why a lot of rappers died. Jay Z is the only one that didn't die because he didn't get stuck in the error. Jay Z, Jay Z rap like this, but that, but that, but He used to rap like that, then he slowed it down because the error changed, and then he became the biggest rapper yeah. ever. And he never hated. He yeah. never said anything wrong. When about Cash what the Money music came changed. out, he got a song said, "This and that, huh? Huh? Yeah. He started rapping like that." Fact. When DMX came out, he got a song with DMX. This, Timberland came out, he jumped on Drake. Drake came out, he got a song with Drake. This is what you have to do. You got do. a song with Future. You have, to update your, you have to update your iOS system. Nigga, you can't be using iOS 3 and we up to 15. Nobody, right. your shit ain't gonna, your shit gonna be all glitchy. <laughs> you gotta update, update your iOS system. <laughs> you gotta that's, update, that's the jewel you gotta day, update man. your iOS, you nigga. You feel me, though? Like <laughs> like that's 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 nah, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. I didn't mean to. Nah, I skipped the hero. Nah, go. Fucking, um, <laughs> nah, fucking, not extra shit to do. Uh-huh. But yeah, man, like I was saying, um, yeah, you can't be outdated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I guess, fuck with you. So this one, uh, you realize what what I'm doing. Oh, you're not dumb. Back, you're not a dumb nigga. You you an older nigga that understands. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm moving future, right, right. I'm moving the future too. You know that. Ah, uh, you like sad guy. Oh, uh, you saw God on it? Nah, oh, nah, 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 really. if, you look, no, if you look at if you look at my iTunes, mm-hmm. you see that I'm more in tune to the new school shit. But at the end of the day, if I'm doing this. And your motherfucking champion to somebody have to, you understand me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody have to be the devil's advocate, bro. Nah, you understand nah, me? So I'm not just gonna just you bring it back. Yeah. And I want these dudes to get better. Mm-hmm. You understand me? So me being a former artist and being able to just like, yo, y'all need to do certain things. Is that's that's it. Yo, bro. so I, right, you see how you acting? Who's your top five? What would you put as top five on the top twenty? You right now. Dealing with young Shit. artists. We ain't gonna bring up the old young artists that oh, everybody man. called Drill. Man. Give me your top, top five. five. Um, Let's see if it's gonna be like my. Because my top 25 already edited. Listen, my top five right I now. Is Chef G and them type of niggas still in there? No, they, Chef G and them took off, so I gotta right. put them higher. You understand? I gotta keep it from them. Right, so you start however you, you want, bro. Number five. Is it if I had to start for number five? Alright, let me start from number one. If I had to go from number one. I'll give it to Busy Banks. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm not going to lie to you. That's number one. This man's a very smart man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be not, honest. He's not, this is, he's not stupid, guys. You got to understand what's going on. He, he's paying, he's, not he's warning, paying not, very clear he's attention not showing, to what's going on. He's not showing and he's putting out quality work. He's paying kid, attention to Mel's TV. Moving. He's watching the young guys. Now, Mel's TV definitely got me on that. But you know what it is? It's just, he reminds me of a guy that's like, um, he's not really coming through screaming what needs to be screened for you to get your views nowadays mm-hmm. and he's putting out quality work see shit like I, that I respect a lot of people behind the scenes be saying that he be sending subs that's what they be saying but I mean even if right. you want to call it subs compared to niggas just come on and start throwing down yeah. who K yeah, 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 yeah. just to make sure they shit fly not, not right? to change the subject remember our, our boy back in the nobody was bro niggas that's what I'm saying. shit <laughs> Shit different, bro. Yeah, like, I, what the fuck you think? That, what happened? Camera talking what shit. happened? Like, what changed? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I mean, I guess clout. 
clout is mm. uh, clout. That's what they look. Internet for. shit like Instagrams yeah. and all that type of. I don't know because to us back not, not for nothing. You know what it is? The streets changed too. Because back in the days, if you had did some sh- wild shit and put it on the internet. Because we be looking the half bullshit. of the niggas that you would have po- posted, they would have beat you up. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, dog, you gotta be hot. Now these niggas like, yo, good looking. Yo, y'all see me? I was mm-hmm. wild. Is it, I don't know what happened. Man, that's that's somewhere around that's the way, true. niggas started appreciating getting put on camera. You remember back in the days, niggas good. be like, yo, let's take a picture. Everybody be like, nah, nah, yeah, I'm yeah, good, I'm good. I only got 10 pictures. Like, no face, no case. Nah, like, niggas, it's like, niggas like, a lot of niggas just be dropping their yeah, action so pictures. It's, it's, it's no like, face, it's no a difference. Case. I guess mm-hmm. generations just change, you know what I'm saying? But I guess, I guess Big, Busy Bank would be number one, you know what I'm saying? I, I like Leaf too, you know what I'm saying? I could give Leaf between number two because I like the way he works. I like his energy, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, number three, I probably have to go. I like Vandal Black. Man, it's Vandal Black, right? Vandal Black. Vandal Black. Yeah, I just dropped the interview. Yeah, I, like, I, like I like his energy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. And if you're gonna, if I, I like, I'm, I'm not gonna be biased. You got, you got niggas like between Siggy Black and um thing. I don't want to put them that far back, but this is just my top favorite. Five, you know what I'm saying? Between five, Siggy yeah. Black and um Max. If you want, it's you know, four. Yeah, it's yeah. Four. You know what I'm saying? Well, and what, what's five though? Uh, number five. The white boy Max. Yeah, Max. Max yeah, Dean. Yeah. Shout out, yeah. yo, yeah. baby. Shout out y'all niggas, man. Shout, yeah, yeah. shout out all my, shout out all my woos, shows, Twirl, babies, I don't, uh, matter, whatever though. slang lingo y'all. Shout out all the young black youth. Cash Maddox. Shout out all the young ca- cash. Shout out all the young black youth that's trying to do something for themselves. Mm-hmm. That's what it's about, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all young, so I understand y'all don't get the bigger picture. But me being an older nigga, I get the bigger picture. Yeah. Shout out all y'all niggas, man. I love y'all. See, that's the thing. That's why I don't... A lot of Who number be, five, though? Mm, damn. Um, let's get back to number five. If I went to number five... Mm. I love you, son. I might have to give it to my son, Famo Banger, man. I mm. like his energy, man. Mm. That little kid right there, I think he deserves more... Um, more Famo interview coming soon. More, more energy than he deserves, because his energy is like... I don't know, so like he right. got like star quality. He just needs to you get know, where he needs to be. You know what I'm saying? Our top five is a little bit similar. Uh-huh. I ain't gonna lie, it's a little bit similar. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? See, y'all stay tuned. It's dropping. What is it? What is interview dropping? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure y'all drop y'all's first though. So all don't right, worry all about right. that. My top five, <laughs> five dropping. Like, yeah. It's dropping next week though. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Okay, Basically, yeah. you know what I mean? Next week from this, this interview done Friday the twenty second. Some yeah. shit like that. Yeah. So it'll be out next week. Man. That's crazy. Yeah. Nobody be putting envy, and they was. I think he top five. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie. Envy mm-hmm. top five, bro. Envy top five. Y'all, 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 there you go again with this lock shit. I'm telling you, <laughs> he could rap with both errors. He could yeah. go to the um, he could do that lyrical, lyrical shit y'all talk about, mm. and he could uh, he could dumb it down and rap but with I the feel young like boy. Didn't put out a and he's a young, young boy. Mm-hmm. And he's a young boy. He's still working though. No, but he's been yeah. working. I'm, I'm not trying to say twenty five years old. That's what I'm saying. He's he's gonna catch one no, soon. I'm not saying that he's not. But, but I see, think he's one of the right, best. I can agree young with you. He could rap with the locks. He could rap with niggas that could rap. But I still don't see him really. Rapping with niggas that can make music. You know nah, I seen him do that already. See, you know what I'm saying like, nah, he's not I, I, seen him He's not dropping a, 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 a he, He's the, not rapping coming through giving you a big drip. You know what I'm saying he's not giving you. a He could do that party. if he wanted to. Though. He needs to though. It's not about if he could do the that. He needs was, to. If he could. You know, I ain't gonna lie. He try, he tried to do it, but I guess he can, Yo, this is crazy. He got a lot of shit that I heard. That could do it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? He he just don't drop that type he's of music. Sticking I guess. To what he's sticking to right. He what might be that type of nigga with a sticking to what. Wait, what's generation? What's right. generating his own fan base? Yeah, buzz, fan base. All yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he I got mean, some shit. He I also, think he has potential. Remember that shit with him and Skrill Pay? Um, Spice and Flex yeah. and get murdered. Like, no funny shit. Skrill Pay was nice one of my. Skrill was, was, was one of my favorite. That was right. my. I don't. I like <laughs> that. His energy on track. I believed everything he did. Mm-hmm. Like every. I, I believe everything he said. Like there's certain niggas when they rap, man. you be like, yo, so this nigga sound like he really do this shit. Let mm-hmm. me say, rather you do it not because I don't want to get niggas into these situations, or whatever. I'm just saying, like certain niggas just sound um, legitimate. You could turn. Like, I don't want to say the names of certain niggas I be listening to. They just sound happy. I be like, ah, oh, you forcing it. Mm-hmm. Certain niggas just sound genuine, like, this is what I do. You know they ain't forcing you know I like the I like the scrubs. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie, I like Nas Blicky too. That was like one of my favorite artists. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He kind of fell back when Tutu came home. I understand that. 
Because yeah. when Tutu came home, he kind of like stopped putting out a lot of projects. I I kind of mm-hmm. I was kind of like lost off of that, but right. I liked the, his the way he was coming off at a point. He was really Shout getting out, the oh shit. shit, Nick Blicky going crazy. Not, that, um um, what's the shit? Ride the bowl, drive the bowl. Drive the shit going crazy. I wanted to ask you this, right? With that with that dance that everybody be doing type shit. That sh- that shit oh, doesn't man. really kind of like resemble Nick Blicky's when he did that Jet Li shit. With this one, my mom, my business. Huh? I got a mom. I mean, I gotta say, I'm just gonna be real. All if y'all right. remember um Jet Li mm-hmm. from Nick Blakey, it looks like the dance everybody does today. I'm just saying, everybody probably had a little twist. I'm gonna put it it's like reality. this. Reality, we, we real, we real niggas. Like it, it, it may, it may have, it may have, it may have evolved from Nick Blakey. Yeah, I feel like it, that, I, I will say yeah. that it may have evolved. I feel like it evo- evolved, evolved from, that, yeah. from Nick Blakey. Because I, I feel like that dance right there, the first time I ever seen a nigga ever bust a move like that was with that Jet Li shit that he had. You go, go back and watch the video go nowhere without this damn blicky you okay, see them so doing it from back then that. okay, that's okay, like okay. four years i mean it's okay you know like I mean, let me tell you what's so funny i noticed about these young niggas although they got beef with each other they'll ride each other's langos niggas will take each other's lingo they'll they don't really care mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying in a way that's why it's so so entertaining to me because it's not just like how back in the days was just it's just strictly gangster in a way it's entertaining because Niggas will take some nigga shit and make it hotter and then just, this shit is just all drippy, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of like this era. Like I said, me personally, I like this era, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? My boy over here, he likes this era, but he know about his lyrics and shit. Shout out to my lyricists, don't be coming crazy at me. I know y'all niggas coming for me. But look, <laughs> you know shout out to them. The bros is older, mm-hmm. so we got to look at that different. But the, bro, the older bros got to realize, this is one thing I said, nobody raps like, Hippity hop, it's up, it's up, it's up. Nobody yeah, rap like yeah, that yeah. shit. That's how it started. It evolves. Yeah, fact. So if you still rap like this, up, it's up. Nobody give a fuck. Listen, you sound my crazy. My thing is, until You're one not... of them niggas. You see my point though, bro? Until one of them niggas mm-hmm. become the nigga, mm-hmm. I got to hold on to the dudes. That's the nigga. That's the nigga. Right. No, all it is, bro, is that we. None of them no, niggas became the nigga yet. No, yeah. to you. Yeah. Listen, None of them to, niggas no, became the nigga. Talk to him. To you, how the fuck is that nigga? No, he's not in the Luke, conversation Luke, with Kendricks no. and the Drakes. He's Luke, not. Luke, no. Luke, no. Listen, you can't listen, ask yo, an 18 year old. Yo, you Pop, you Pop Smoke is not in the conversation Luke, with Kendricks and the Drakes. Who's the top five? I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to let y'all niggas talk about this. All I do is buy albums, bro. You understand me? Y'all niggas is not buying Pop Smoke albums. Y'all like him. I'm not buying Pop Smoke albums. You understand me? Y'all niggas is not buying Pop Smoke albums. Y'all like him. I bought Pop Smoke albums. I gave Pop Smoke 10 albums. You understand me? I gave Pop Smoke 10 albums. Right. You understand me? Right. So I'm allowed to give my motherfucking what's the name and that nigga shit ain't knocking. What Just the way I'm talking, Dave, that shit ain't knocking. Yo, what about Lucy? Shit, shit, shit and Sleepy Hollow is better than Pop Um. Pop smoke shit is better Yo, what about TJ though? Yo, you heard? Uh, what about Lil TJ? Huh? No, sir. Huh? Look, look he, he don't pop smoke shit. Huh? He's black. Come on, man. Lil TJ. He's black. Come on, man. see what y'all really say. Lil TJ. 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 Lil so I'm allowed to give my motherfucking what's the name and that nigga shit ain't knocking. What this is where I'm talking Dave Yo. shit ain't knocking. Yo, what about Lil TJ? Chef G shit, shit and Sleepy Hollow is better than Pop um, Pop Smoke shit is Yo, what about TJ though? Yo, you heard? Uh, what about Lil TJ? Huh? No, sir. What about, huh? Look, he, he, he don't pop smoke at this, huh? Mm. He's black. Come on, man. He's Yo, a he's platinum like, artist. See what y'all do. You know what you realize? I know you don't know. I know. Mel C.J. is a platinum artist. In fact, though, you gotta get that out there. But yo, this is shit. You gotta get that out there. You gotta get that out there. You gotta get that out there. You gotta get And gold. You got platinum and gold. But listen, fact. Lil TJ, you ever heard Lil TJ rap rap? No, first. Lil TJ could rap. He could rap rap. Niggas was the same to get thing I told you about Envy Kane mm-hmm. is the same thing with Little TJ is. But he can pop um pop smoke shit. Yo, what about TJ though? Yo, you heard? Uh, what about Little TJ? Huh? No, sir. Huh? Look, look he, he, he don't pop smoke at this. Huh? He's black. Come on, man. Little TJ. He's black. Come on, man. See what y'all really to realize about Little TJ? I know. I know. Mel C. He's black. Come Fact though, we gotta get that out there. But yo, you gotta get that out there. Nah, it's shameless club. And gold. Platinum and gold. Now, but listen, fact. Little TJ, you ever heard Little TJ rap rap? Yo, bro, slide that over here. Little TJ could rap. He could rap rap. Niggas was the same to thing I told you about Envy Kane mm-hmm. is the same thing with Little TJ is. 
But he can rap, rap, see, rap. I fuck with And MVP. then that nigga can make but a music. MVP Kane still of today. ain't do. I love the music today. He can cross over to Lil TJ's lane. Yeah. Uh-huh. He needs to cross over to Lil TJ's lane. I think it's just where he at right now. Nah, no, it's, come on, my nigga. Every, it's I where like, he at in life right now. I mean, I, like I said, man, hopefully the homeboy the do what he gotta do. You know what I'm saying? He need to get you away from the streets. When you get away from the streets Yo, more Kane, and spend more right? time in Cali, this is real nigga shit. The motherfucking where he's at. Drop then he'll the start people, making man. that music that reflects that. You understand me? Mm-hmm. But right he's now done. he's around where he's at, so his music always gonna reflect where he's at mm-hmm. and what he's going through. Mm-hmm. I'm an artist. This mm-hmm. is what he has to live through right now. Mm-hmm. He ain't start taking those trips out. Out, out, out further, yeah. So he ain't really spending Who his knows? time. He's around. probably dead, but he ain't doing it because he would have put it out on the IG. This one thing you remind me of my little brother too. You know what I'm saying? How we know what was the man traveling to and all that? Like that sounds crazy. We don't know what the nigga's doing. Like what are you saying? That's just wit. My brother be saying the same shit, bro. This shit crazy. It reflects in his music. You it reflects in his music. That's how I know. Mm-hmm. Cause his yeah. music, it talks about where he's at. It, it, it's not, it's not outside Look, of where he's from. Right. Where he's from. So that's how listen, I know. Let me put, let, you know how you know how you can't use that example. <laughs> so so he can't you know how you, yo, he ready to spit bars. You know? <laughs> you know how you can't use that example. Cause niggas look at me like I'm just some cameraman, nigga. And I've always been a cameraman for three no, years. No, but they can't look at you. So like I'm giving you an example. Because you make moves. They don't, they no, don't. It's not that. I'm giving you an example. Exactly that, that people don't it. know yeah, what yeah. the fuck I, my background yeah, is. They yeah, think, yeah, yeah. I'm a cameraman. I think I've been a cameraman for three years and I'm almost, I'm 39 years old. Like what not, you think you I was doing up. the other 36 years of my fucking life? You don't know. That's what I'm saying. You can't just judge somebody just by what lane they in now. No, you I don't know what they do. Not judging that. No, no, I'm saying. But I'm talking about his music. You understand me? And his music, music hasn't yet. Left the hood. Right. So we can't keep holding him to like, he ain't got no, one of those type of songs yet. You understand? But like, what I'm saying is, between him and, all right, let's say that the people he's he's going against, they're, they're putting, they're trying to put out music mm-hmm. that's like trying to blow. Everybody's I blowing. I think he's trying to. He was just beefing with Five Year Foreign. Five Year Foreign took his beef and whatever to the next level and just dropped the hit. What I'm saying is, you cannot always just try to stick to the beefing but because I'll, it's controversial. I will say this though, you know, he's kind of getting blackballed in the beginning. Right. And this is real shit. I'm Let's saying. talk. Real, I shouldn't talk about no, that. No, no, don't, don't A say lot. Envy Kane and them. They, 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 they getting black. He getting black. No, I'll Let's say. Be real. I'll I'm say be real this. I'll say this. Base. This is coming from my point of view. Say this. Base. This is coming from my point of view. Mm-hmm. We gotta keep it real. You keep it real. I have to keep it real. Mm-hmm. My nigga. Left. <laughs> Based on what's going on out here, right? Mm-hmm. The fact that the the this is some somewhat piggybacking off your last episode with um Sad God. With the Crips sticking together. No problem. The fact that the Crips are sticking together Mm -hmm. or making it hard for the opposition, I'll say, so that's the GDs or the Blakeys and Situation Gang, to be able to move around and get in, in, like, and, like, flourish, like, um, build a career like they should because, like, people are not going to book the Blakeys in the same neighborhood that they're going to book the thing. Like, you see what happened to Rolling Loud type shit. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is, as far as just booking, though. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, like right now, you will see, like, niggas who book Five Year Foreign everywhere. Right. They're not going right. to book 2 2 Gs everywhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's, the, every time they do, the, the, cops, the cops shut them down. Forget the cops shut them down. The cops I'm talking about, down. like, the, um, the, 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 the fact that the, you know, it's a wave. So when the people got mm-hmm. the wave, people are like, oh, nah, we don't want to fuck with the other of side. Course, if we I fuck with the saying. other side, that's going to make these niggas not want to fuck with us type shit. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? It's just, right. You know how the shit go. Mm-hmm. The, the, even like for the hood, we think in business like too, like like me, I don't give a fuck. I'll interview folk niggas. Ah, yeah. You see, I had Lucky Moon on my shit. Mm-hmm. I got mad flack for that. I ain't going to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Nigga, I'm doing this media shit, nigga. Word. What you want me the to do? Fuck niggas but like, um, what I'm saying is, um, if you have both sides, like, you see, the fact that I feel like the dominating side at this point of the game is the looks. So it's going to make it a 2019, little... 2019, definitely. It's going to make it harder for the folks. Folks can get their shit on the web, but when it comes to where they need to be and go, people are not going to accept them because whoever's already leading the race is basically the looks and the well, thing, you know what I'm saying? Well, what it is is, is favoritism with a lot of um, people that's in position. Mm. So let's say somebody may have went to college and they may be from that background of where their opposition is from. Okay. They're not gonna support mm. a lot of the niggas from I guess with the 
you know, my hood ain't really do the college background that gets to the music thing, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, a lot flatbush, of the up, flatbush, yeah, you, say, you know, right? oh, oh, you know, you're a flatbush. Yeah, I'm surprised, I'm surprised we, you, you know get, I'm surprised you get a Molly G interview. Well, I was supposed to interview Molly, but um, me and him know a couple mutual. He, one of my dogs that's my age, maybe a couple years, probably like a couple years younger than me, was really close with him and was lining it up, but. He just ain't want to do it for whatever reason, and it's all good. Probably you know feel comfortable at the moment. I mean, it's so. all it's I all love. Cool. Shout, out, shout out to him too because I noticed he's still trying to drop music and then let this. Nah, he's him. still working. And and when I when I see that, that's all that matters, bro. Don't that's let nobody or nothing yeah. stop you, bro. Like, cause if you do that, then you know. And this new day to age, day of age, you know what it would be probably why you probably ignore you right now the fact that you did the interview with the other guy. Right, that's why my man hit me up and was trying to link the Molly G interview because I know well, you know he understands that's, that? that's where you're supposed to get your you, right. Because my man is almost he, my he, age, so he like yo, you gotta he, say your shit too. He understood that was supposed to be next right after right. the interview. But, but Molly young boy, probably, on, right, he, he don't understand, understand the that, science yeah, behind yeah, it yet. Because he's a little bit young. He's yeah. probably like 20 years well, old. Sometimes yeah. you got to get your story out there before people could um, put the story out there for yeah. you. Not yeah. only that, if the story is out there, you don't want it to be one-sided all the exactly. way. Mm -hmm. like, I see him with new artists or whatever. Still, you, because you don't want nobody to use at some point you, you. At some point, you're going to have to sleep on it. You're going to have to answer on it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. You got to. You got to sleep on it. Yeah, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, you just don't you don't want to speak crazy about just like the situation you asked me about. Mm -hmm. You don't want to give the details, but you know you should speak on it definitely. The, the, the thing know. about that is, we all in the streets. You know about situations I had, so it's it's, it's not nothing to have a situation. Oh, that's the crazy shit. If you're shit. outside, you're gonna have situations. Yo, bro. that's the crazy shit. Like, yo. Is I definitely somebody sent me that shit to post, and you see, I dubbed that shit because yeah. at the end of the day, you know why. Nigga, I ain't know I I ain't like that. I don't really be posting shit like that, especially with someone who I met and I tried to have some type of um thing with them, like or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, especially yeah, they yeah. from the same background as me. I ain't even post that shit. Niggas be you know what it'd be, bro? Niggas be trying to turn make us all go against each other. That's cool. I mean, post it. Shit like that give you clout. I no, need some but clout. You know That's why? Like, you know, I like, right? I, you post know, it. You should I, post I it. I ain't going to post it. You, I'm going to post it. The nigga that sent it to you, post it, nigga. Right, but guess what? They be... They I was going to say you're going to flop. They be low-key. They be low-key <laughs> pussy, so they don't want to do it. You understand? They, they understand. be low-key pussy. Post you it. Understand? You know what's going to happen? Right. Gods in the city is going to go like this. Right. right. Nigga, Gods in the city already good. <laughs> Look at that shit, man. Yo, I'm just saying, we're just going to... Trust me. Somebody's going to want to know what happened. I'm just willing to give the story. Guess what, bro? <laughs> I remember doing. You was one of probably my first ten interviews. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Fact though, you know, I was, I was like I said, I was with you from the start. So yeah. I, I see you. You know start it, yeah, yeah. Safari, yeah, Safari, yeah. From the safari yeah. Show. That's a I fact. I see yeah. you start from I the did start. See that. You were my yeah. first. Like, like I remember when you like. Let me tell you something. I remember when you posted on Facebook. Like, you know what? I'm about to get on some camera shit. Mm -hmm. That's how far back I was. Me and you was fucking with each other online, mm -hmm. and then that's how come you ended up interviewing me. Because I remember you specifically said, "Yo, I'm about to start this camera shit." And the same little niggas know. I was telling you about made me start it. You know yeah, what I mean? Because I, that's, that's how I learned about the Billy niggas, like mm -hmm. Scotty and them. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I learned. I started watching them, like, because you see, I guess time changed. We all kind of changed. Because mm -hmm. you see, even us, don't front. Niggas like us back in the days, we didn't really care about the upcoming. We only cared about, like, niggas that was on. But something happened where the upcoming niggas started putting out quality I, 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 I shit. I can't 100% uh, agree with that because I was always into the Clue Tape era. Mm. And remember when DJ Clue was dropping shit, they was kind of like upcoming. off the Clue tape. Watch this. Who you like off the Clue tape? Oh man, I liked fucking um my nigga Nature. Remember this nigga they had Nature? Nature was too lit. That's what I'm saying. Nature, say. Nature was like a big artist then. No, but he got Nas back in. Oh, that's, that's true. Damn, see I'm about to right at you, cuz you know yeah. Everybody that we fuck with got some. But you remember Nature on. shit used to always start off the yeah, Clue yeah. tapes, then you had the other nigga. Let me tell you who What's was the other nigga. Go ahead, go ahead. It's like news and shit didn't have no major back. Shout out news, saying, yo, right, yo, news what up, man? Shout out news. Shout out news. Ransom had DJ Clue on his. No, I was going to say Ransom, too. But he had DJ Clue. Ransom, yeah, Ransom, um, Ransom, man. Even jo yo, even I, I Joe Button on the low. Nah, but Joe Button. Even Joe Button, Button on the low. Oh, what's that shit called? The Tri... What's that? What's Def that? Jam. What's, it's part of Def what's Jam. What's that Perry. Chicago Bulls office? The Triangle office. There was a few of them that was together. Oh, it was like Ransom, Joe Button. Stack Mondo. No, it was Joe Button's Fab and... And Ransom, I think. Ransom, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, Joe Button, Fab and Ransom. Yeah. 
Paul Kane, right? Paul Kane was in. Shout out Paul Kane. Shout out to your shout out whole style. You know we we whole style. You know we we got it. Paul Kane, that's my dog too. Shout out my son Paul Kane. But you know they used to body the um blue tape. But like I said, like we never really fuck with underground niggas. Like as far as we, you see like how we went and that dug up Chef G's and dug up Tutus and MVKs, Nas and you got the. I ain't gonna hold you. You was a, one of the Kuda. first per- people that put that Chef G wave out there. Yeah, I mean that you know. First of all, I'm from the bush, so anything that comes from the bush, I'm most on top of. Yo, I'm gonna yeah. tell y'all some crazy shit. And that was in his best, yeah. his best, and that was not even his best work. He did the interview. The shit you was. I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is it. I did. I man. fucked up. I told the nigga a price. Oh. Him, he was just on the drill shit. Yo, I see this nigga, but now he is fat. I didn't tell him about it. I told him. So he said, um, he's yo, that's why I know I fucks with him. Because my son Jimmy, man. What they call him? Zo Montana. Zo Montana is the one who was like, yo, this is my boy, man. How much you gonna charge him? I was like, you know, I gave a price. I need to see Because he had some shit for dipping off some racks. That was the only shit he had out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave, I gave, um, I'm not a big fan of I gave Zoom on Pen a price. And then I sit, end up seeing him with you. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, this yeah. nigga falls a smooth nigga. Look at this. I'm like, look at this nigga, man. Yeah, I, yo, bro, I ain't even gonna lie. We gotta touch on this too, though, son. Because right the Henny's really hitting now. Nah, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. That's it. You and my son Product had a little problem. I don't want to say my son. Ask that. But um, <laughs> you and Product had a situation. That's your, that's your man? What was that? No, I mean, that's my son. I, I figure I said that's you know, my son. I mean, you know him, know him? I, I know him. Me and him are cordial. Like, when we mm-hmm. see each other, those always love. Right, right. Love and no beat type shit, right. you know what I'm saying? But you do remember I hit you in the inbox about you got we, that, that yeah, footage. We, well, I'm not gonna no, I have to put it out there. I'm I asked if you, you got that footage I from him because he was the one that was there. Do you see how real I am? I still won't say nothing about it. Yeah, you see, that's what I'm saying. So he should pay attention to that, too. What footage you talking it's about? Nothing. We got to be real. Shit was some nah, shit was got, some nigga from got, back in the day. I got into a situation oh, nigga, about three years ago. Niggas had the footage in the club. Niggas caught me slapping, slicking, I'm slipping, whatever, whatever. Only one cameraman was in the building. It was my dog's... um. Product. Product, DVD. Like I said, he came on the track. Somebody anonymously sent me the footage of it, and saying? I didn't post. He came on the track like to, like, you know to document what we were doing at the time. But, you know, I Because I met him, like him and I'm not going to. Yeah, see, yeah, this yeah. is how ill I am. I met, bro. I like this vibe. I'm not posting even other younger niggas. If you notice, I never post young niggas when they get jumped or beat up because some of these kids. I actually like and have connections yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, nigga, I ain't posting that shit. Like, yo, so what you got? You didn't post a Molly G video. I don't think so. Nah, I didn't post the Molly G video. You just got the interview. Nah, I didn't post the Molly G video. I wouldn't post it. Mm-hmm. I, you yeah, know it was, why? It was tasteless. I, yeah, I don't, I'm shocked I don't you didn't get the them. ABG um, interview. I was looking out for that. Now, see, this is shit with that. I got the Coca interview dropping, so. Oh, okay. So okay. we don't need ABG Nick. Nah, we do need <laughs> ABG Nick. See, the thing with ABG Nick, I, I don't know how to reach out to him. Uh, uh, I never... Part of the story. Yeah, we got to find him. Maybe you could reach out to Chef Tell Chef yeah. Tell him to slide through. I, 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 I need to hear if him. If I still reach out him? to him, I'd have better reach out to him. still jacking him? He just dropped his mixtape, whatever, his album, whatever. I mean, things like that... Listen, we living in 2019, so shit like that don't destroy you nowadays. Like, yeah, right? it's not back in the day. Shit might give you more clout, like I'm just trying to explain to you. You're not listening to me. That little nigga... He dropped his mixtape, Cocaine Cowboys, or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. That type of shit would make him sell more. Back in the days, that shit would make you do less. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's living in a whole Makes different sense. era, bro. Like, you gotta know how to. You gotta know how to capitalize off of anything that happens yeah, in yeah. this period. You can, cause you know, whenever my situation happened, I got so many niggas hit me. It helped a little bit because niggas that I'm don't like them music. niggas. Start Dude. hitting me up. Like, like yo, where did my mama? Hey, uh, you know how shit goes. Nah, let me tell you why I think it helps way more than a little bit. Because it went viral like somebody, it was somebody that's well known that mm-hmm. got into the situation. It didn't go viral like anybody could get like into a situation. It went viral like your Mel CV. Yeah. See, it didn't go viral like whatever your government is. It went mm-hmm. to say Mel CV. So everybody was like, who is Mel CV? Why wow, are even niggas wilding on him? Right. Check him out. Oh, he do this. Now niggas, now you got a thousand new subscribers. Right, shit. You get like what I'm saying? That. So that's how life works, And bro. you know, you know, niggas get a little five minutes of fame from him, but shit, yeah. nigga, you know what I mean? I got five, you know, 
Look, man, just get your money up, man. Yeah. You heard? So before we end it here, I, money, let's get nigga. back to the pilot situation. Like, what we talking, happened with we you We talking, talking six-figure money, nigga. Y'all don't nah, got that, man. Talk I'm talking real nigga shit. We talking, we talking house. <laughs> we talking house money, nigga. I don't even drive, nigga. We talking houses. <laughs> I'm on some white shit, nigga. I walk around with sandals in the house. I take a fucking Uber, nigga. You so with product, saying? man, can, is there a way that us as vloggers, bloggers, and what we do as media... Listen, shout out to Product DVD. I'm yeah, saying it so live on Flatbush nigga product, timing. Can we work I this out? I don't know this nigga. I never met him. I did a favor for him one time uh -huh. by interviewing Aladdin's very first interview. Okay. Because Aladdin hit me up, so your product told me to look into you. So I'm like, oh, shit, shout out Product. You know, mm -hmm. he, he had Bobby smurdered him early. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Did it for Aladdin because I would have charged him. This is Aladdin, mm -hmm. well, they're charging. Did it for free because yeah. he, get, he, get, he had the product co-sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is before product interviewed him, too, but yeah, he yeah. said product sent him. Yeah, okay. So that goes to show that I fuck with boy. Okay. Nigga just start coming at me out of nowhere, God, because at the end of the day, I start building up traction. Okay, okay. You know, he, I guess, you know, he, he, he wasn't expecting me to build up traction like I built up so fast to so where I'm that nigga. Mm -hmm. I guess he must have felt some type of way and start coming at me making Mel's number two and you know what I mean he started coming at me all crazy making reggae tunes about me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I like the song. <laughs> Shit was dope though. I, you know, I was dancing in the crib and all that. Like, I was trying to mock the nigga dance. I couldn't get it, man. The nigga cold, man. The nigga I cold. Nigga. Reggae yeah. Yeah. All right, so let me ask you this. Us as vloggers, like doing what we do, we from the same area. We don't need to beef like rappers. I so don't want to be a way that like maybe like y'all could. I can't. I, I I don't have any beef with that man, but I don't really never want to fuck with that man. Okay, because it's just, from you, from you act all like that. all that type of shit, man. Uh, you too much of a coon to me and all that. Cause I'm yeah. all for conscious brother, yeah. but yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. I'm a conscious nigga at the end of the day, and I ain't with all that coonery shit just to try to get clout. You're too old for that. I, I shout out to you. I don't have any problem with you, but I don't. I don't want to fuck with you. Okay, okay. And that's I mean, my personal feeling because I come from a. Uh, I come from a pro black background. All right, you know I mean, what I'm saying? That's, that's what's we don't hate on nobody. As long as it's not a, a, but, a but situation, because you know what it is. Nah, I don't like, want to see <coughs> bloggers or whatever what we do. You know, saying this media acting like we're the artists and we want to act like we run it down on niggas. Nah, we never, got never. Like I said, I come from like, a pro black background. Exactly. We taught me. To love everybody that look like me, but also to teach me to love everybody. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck if you look like me. I don't give a fuck what nationality you is. I don't care what color you are. I fuck with you. Yeah, like, yeah. real shit. Like, but when people that's my hue act like that, my hue of skin act like that, I don't really want to be around them because you're too extra, dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even need that. You could have linked me, dogs, and we could have did big things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like... I'm Basically, I'm going to keep it real with you. you know what I'm saying? I mean, I hate to be the... Uh, do get them together type job. Like you should but, though. Do you, you do? Listen, man, I still would want to see a, a certain a Mel TV product DVD interview. Mel TV product, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget guys of the city, you know what I'm saying? Oh, of but I want to see y'all do what y'all do up, because like, and, and, I feel like both of y'all the the put the, the, the underground industry of New York City, well, Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying mm -hmm. on another level to where half of these people are really reaping the benefits. That's what we get out. I'm gonna tell you where he went wrong. He went wrong by just jacking one hood. That's what mm -hmm. killed his brand when he was okay. interviewing. I learned not to do that from him okay. failing. Okay, okay, okay. I ain't even gonna lie. I learned like, nigga, shit. What if these niggas start? Nigga, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everywhere. I'm gonna yeah, connect yeah, the dots yeah, yeah. everywhere. You understand? Yeah, Shout yeah. out to that man, though, bro. Yo, bro, I don't Give know what problem you had with me, man. I need to see you, too, man. You need to come you down got, to you the got, You got a little personal issue. We gonna work man. this out. We gonna work this out. I don't, I don't got Brooklyn's no problem get with it together, you, man. man. You just started some fuckery. I guess you was trying to get clout. Shout out to you, though, bro, because... Nigga, you same hue as me. You trying to do something with your life, man. I'm going to fuck yeah, about none of that stuff. What he does shit. to this day right now, what he switched over to doing, I guess. It's working it's for him. It's still working. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why I said shout out to him. You know he, said, he, found a, a, he, he found a stuff. lane that yeah. works for him. Shout out to that yeah, man. Yeah, and that's what it's all about. You yeah. find your lane, it works. Shout out to you. You do that lane. Yeah, fact. But though, just fact don't hate on right. me. Leave me the fuck alone. That's it. I am saying, but like I said, I'm going to try to see what we can do. Mm -hmm. We need a Mel's TV <laughs> product <laughs> DVD. We gotta get it too. Yo, that's gonna, gonna be big. You get him up here. I'm coming up here. Get him up here. I'm coming up here. He can sit right there. I'm sitting right here. And this is what we gonna do. Do you hear me? You gonna mash that shit? You can make that. That's it. 
I'm saying like, cause you don't need a man of fear, no man, dog. Yeah, you heard? Fear, sit no right there. I'm right here. Yeah. Niggas ain't even touching each other. We don't need security. We got, we got they the dogs. Nigga, the talk he gonna be an honorary regret. No, 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 if we get that shit done, he's gonna be an honorary regret. Everybody, everybody's an honorary guest because you know what it is. We what right now? What we doing? Welcome y'all back, my niggas. Brooklyn, you say we putting Brooklyn on the map. Like I said, bro, this is on Mel's TV. I'm saying I've been following. He put a lot of your favorite artists on the map. It's like the Brooklyn you know Academics. I don't want to put him academics. into the same name as Academics. All right, before we go. Because he do his own thing. Wait, wait, before we go. But. Have people at Academics showed you love, reached out to you in any way? No, because these people right now, they won't do that. They'll watch my channel. Everybody heard of me. I don't care what anybody yeah, say. They pretend to play dumb and all Flat that TV shit. Flat TV already um, you know mentioned you, so there's yeah. no way. Flat like, mentioned me. No Jumper mentioned flat. me. All these, they know me. Shout out to everybody that do their thing. But it comes like this. Academics the same he was us. Mm. People the same he was us always going to act all dumb and stupid nigga shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, see, yeah. How, see how we named two white boys that say, yo, shout out. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a thing with our with you people. You started off that shit saying our people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got an issue. Yeah. yeah. That's just it. It's a problem that we have that ain't never going to get and fixed. Gotta, and we got to fix it. <laughs> it, it, never, it ain't never getting fixed, dog. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. It's never getting fixed. We got to keep it real with ourselves. <laughs> you niggas have too much faith and belief. I think me and you. It ain't none of that shit, nigga. Ain't nothing getting fixed. Ain't no favorable. We can say as good as we want. This shit is real. sounds good. You know what I'm saying? Like, But at the end of the day, shout out everybody. I love y'all, man. Shout out all my lokes. Shout out all my bloods. Shout out all my folks. I love everybody, yo. You know what I'm I love y'all. Keep doing your thing, man. Get money. Fuck all. Stop. Don't hate anybody. Get money. You're going to get old one day, 35 and plus, and you ain't going to be mad at the nigga that you was mad at when you was fucking 16. That's all. Just not telling you. You're not going to, nigga. Like get, get money, man. Turn 30 into old. Mm -hmm. Right? And I'm mm -hmm. like, yo, at some point in time, y'all got to get to 30. When I was 14, 30 was old, too. When I was 16, 30 was old. Yeah, so I feel the same Don't way. forget how you acted when you was young, neither. That's what yeah, a lot of yeah. us, we get old, we forget. Niggas be like, yo, man, you young niggas. Nigga, when I was young, I was just like them and worse. I was yeah, way that's worse than them. I, I was not letting they do it. No problem. We was. We was. But yeah, <laughs> man, shout out to my yo, boy Mel's TV for Go coming subscribe down, to Mel's TV. Go follow me on IG at Mel's TV. All that shit. Make sure y'all follow my boy shit. He's yeah, doing real good. He's doing real TV big things. Go follow, um, go follow his podcast too, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out you know, it's subscribe it's to the, the same, channel. Subscribe it's to, it's to the, the channel. channel. You know? Shout out to my boy. Shout rest in peace to everybody. My recipe on Elsie. Rest in peace to everybody that I love. Free everybody that I didn't mention. Love y'all. Peace.